In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up pre-orders on your Shopify store. Now, there are a number of reasons why you might want to set up pre-orders. Firstly, of course, is if you run out of stock on your product, you can always go and set up a back order to allow people to continue to purchase your products, even when it's out of stock. And secondly, it's a really great method for testing new products. So maybe you want to set up a new product for your e-commerce store, but you don't want to buy lots of inventory up front. So you can mitigate this risk by purchasing just one sample of the product, taking some nice pictures, and then you can go and sell it on pre-order. If it sells well, then you can go and purchase the rest of the product in bulk. And if it doesn't sell well, then you can just go and continue on testing new products and you haven't wasted all your money on inventory that you can't sell. So in order to do this, we'll be using this app here called Pre-Order Manager. So we'll leave a link in the description to the Pre-Order Manager Shopify app. And if you go and have a look, it does start at $24.95 per month and you can set up unlimited pre-order products. You can set up pre-order discounts, back in stock email alerts, and you can do pre-orders by different countries. So maybe you've run out of stock in a particular country or you want to test a product in a particular country and you can set it up as a pre-order. And as you can see, this app has a 4.4 star rating on the Shopify app store and over 900 ratings. So it is a really great app for setting up pre-orders. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And from here, all you need to do is click on add app. Once you click on that, then you simply click on install app. And from here, you simply need to approve the subscription for the app. And from here, you need to just follow a few more installation steps. So click on check if theme store is 2.0. It will then hopefully say successfully detected on your theme. And then you can click on apply pre-order button. Now, once you click on that, hopefully it will say pre-order button applied. And now you can click on preview to see if that pre-order button has been installed correctly. So we can see on the product page, we now have pre-order and it says we will fulfill the order as soon as it becomes available. So now we know that that pre-order button is working correctly. We can just go and choose yes. However, if it hasn't installed correctly, you can click on no contact support and the support team will help to get everything set up for you. So now that we have done that, we can click on set up complete. Once you click on that, you will be brought over to the pre pre-order manager dashboard. And from here, you can basically see how many pre-order sales you have made and other analytics. But the first thing I want to show you is how you can set up different types of pre-orders. So we are gonna to go to products. And from here, you will see all of the products in your store and you can go and set up different pre-orders for each product. Now, in order to set up a pre-order on the product, you will need to go into products from your Shopify dashboard and just make sure that the quantity is set to zero because people can't pre-order a product that's still in stock because then they will just be ordering it. So if you are trying to test a new product with pre-order, when you set it up within Shopify, just make sure that you set the quantity to zero. Now, the first thing I want to show you is how you can just set up a basic pre-order that allows people to just simply pre-order it and then go and purchase it at the checkout. So in order to do this, you can go and just turn this green pre-order on. Once the pre-order is active, it will look like this with the message. However, you can go and change some of the settings. So if we click on default settings and from here, you can change some of the settings. So firstly, it will say if pre-order is closed due to limit or date. So for example, if you're only selling 100 as the maximum pre-orders that you're selling, then the message once those 100 have been purchased will just say sold out. So you can go and change that to whatever you want to. You can add pre-order discounts. I'll show you how to do that in one moment. Then you've got the button text. So where it says pre-order, you can go and put something else in the text if you want to, and then you have the button message. So when somebody hovers over it, where it says we will fill the, fulfill the order as soon as it becomes available, you could go and put in a different message. So for example, if it was a food item, you could say try our brand new flavor, only 100 available or something like that. However, I'm just going to leave it as the default. And then you have the pre-order checkout label. So it will just say pre-ordered items. I recommend to just leave that as the default. So when people are checking out, they still know that they are pre-ordering the item so they know not to expect it right away. Then you have the pre-order quantity limit. So like I said, if you only want to sell a maximum of 100 products that you're just testing out as the first batch, then you can go and turn this on and you can go and put in the quantity of 100 like this. And you can go and choose whether you want it to be 100 in total or if you want it to be a certain amount per day. So this is sort of adding scarcity to the product, especially with a pre-launch. If you are pre-launching a product and you want to build up excitement for it, then this 
is a really great tactic that you can use to make sure that you sell out your first batch. And then you can go and put a notify on to try and sell out the second batch. So I'll be showing you how you can go and put a notify me when back in stock in a moment. So now if we scroll down, you can schedule a pre-order. So you can go and set up a pre-order for a date in the future. So for example, if you were doing a product launch, you could go and talk about it on social media for a few days to build up the excitement. And you can say you can pre-order it on this date. So you can set, set up the pre-order. You could say, we're gonna start selling on Saturday. And you then you can go and set an end date. So you could say we're going to stop selling the product on a certain date as well. And again, this is just going to bring in some scarcity to the product. And that's a really good sales tactic to make sure that you sell the product out because people are going to know that this is not going to be sold forever. The end date's coming soon, so I better purchase it now. So then you can display the pre-order end date and you can go and choose the date format however you want to go and choose it, depending on different countries, the US and the UK, they display their date format in different ways and then you can go and display a pre-order time remaining so it could say we only have 24 hours left for you to pre-order the product you can choose pre-order locations so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video if you wanted to go and test out a product or if you have sold out in a certain country then you can go and enter in a country so we could go and say for example, the United Kingdom or the United States. So it's only gonna let people from that country pre-order the product. So it's totally up to you. I'm actually just going to let anybody pre-order this product from any country. Then you have the pre-order badge. So this is going to just show on the actual product image itself. So you can go and turn this on if you want to, and you can go and choose your pre-order badge. So it's gonna show across like this. So it's totally up to you what style you want to use. I'm just gonna go for this one. And then you can go and choose the colors so you can make sure that it matches the rest of your store. So I'm just gonna go and choose this color, for example. And then you can see that we've got the text color. So let me just change that again. We'll paste it in here. So we can see it's like that with white text. You can go and choose where you want it to be displayed. I think I'm gonna go for the top left-hand corner like this. And then you can go and turn on terms and conditions as well of the product if you want to, to let people know about the terms and conditions of pre-ordering the product. So you can go and turn this on if you want to, and then you can go and write some terms and conditions. So for example, as a default, it says when you place an order through the site, we will maintain your order information for our records unless and until you ask us to delete this information, et cetera, et cetera. So it's up to you if you want to go and add this. As a matter of fact, I am just going to turn this off. And once you are happy with with your settings, you can simply hit apply. Once you have applied the settings, you can click on this eye icon to go and preview them. So as you can see, we now have that pre-order badge on the product page, which looks really amazing. And then you can see that they have the time remaining until they can pre-order the product. So that's looking really great. And as I say, this is going to prompt customers to make the purchase and pre-order a product, especially if you're testing out a new product where you've ordered a small batch or just a sample, and then you can use scarcity to try and prompt the customer to purchase the product. So now that I've shown you how to set up the pre-orders, I do want to show you a few other different types of pre-order. So I do want to show you how you can set up the coming soon pre-order next. So this is basically just means you're building up a bit of excitement about a product that might be coming soon to your collection. So you can, once again, we can click on custom settings and we can go to coming soon and we can turn this on. We are actually just going to turn off the pre-order one for now, and we're just gonna have coming soon on its own. Again, you can change the button text. You can go and change the message. So you've got dropping on, and then you've got the available date. So you can go and choose the date. So we're just gonna choose any date in the future. And then you can go and choose the date format. And then you've got placement of date. So we're gonna have it below the coming soon button or you can go and put it above the coming soon button. So once you have done that, again, you can go and hit apply. And now again, if we click on the eye icon, we can have a look at what that looks like. So now we can see we've got that coming soon button and it says dropping on this date. So again, if you're launching a new product, this is a really great way to build up excitement for a product. Or if you've got a product that you've been working on ready to launch, but it's been taking some time to perfect it, you can always go and put that on a coming soon page as well. Now I will show you how you can change the styling of your buttons in a moment so that they match the rest of your store. But the next thing I do want to show you is how you can set up a notify me so that people can put in their email and when the product is back in stock or you have launched a new product, you can send out an email notification to let people know that the product is ready to purchase. So we can turn off our coming soon and what we can do is we can go and turn on our notify. Now when we turn this on, it's going to say that we need to go and 
entering an email address that will get sent to our customers when we send out those notification emails. So we're gonna click on take me there. And from here, you can scroll down and where it says send an email, you can go and enter in the email address of your store. Once you have entered that email address in, you can scroll down and hit save. And from here, you can also go and change the text of the emails. Now I recommend just to leave it as the default, but it's totally up to you. So it will say hi, and then it's gonna say the product is now av available. Get it now before it goes out of stock. And then they can click on view item. It's gonna have the sender name, which is of course your store. And then you have the pop-up settings as well. So so again, you can change any of this text if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it as the default. So once you have entered that in, we can go back to products. And then from here, we can turn the notify me on. And then once we have turned that on, we can click on the eye icon again to go and preview the product page. And now from here, you will see in the header, it's gonna say notify me when available. People can click on this, they can enter in their email address and they can click on register. And then when, once the product is available, you can go and send out a bulk email to let everybody know that the product is available. Now don't worry, this button isn't going to show everywhere on your store. So if we go back to the homepage, for example, now on my homepage, I have the product directly at the top top, but you can see on the homepage, the notify me button isn't there. So it's only if they click on the product page, which is really great because that's where you want it to show. When people go over to the product page, that's when they can go and enter in their email address. Now, like I said, you can go and change the design to make sure that it matches the rest of your store. So if we go back to the app, we can click on design. And now if we scroll down, for example, on the notify me button, we can go and change the colors. So if I go and just grab this red color, I can go and change it like this, and then I can go and hit save. And now if we come back over to my product page and we just refresh this, and now you can see it matches the rest of my store. And if people click on this, they will be able to go and enter in their email address. So now once this product becomes back in stock, that email will be sent out to those customers and they can go and purchase the product. Now I do also want to show you how you can set up discounted pre-orders. So basically if somebody pre-orders the product, they'll receive a discount on it. And this is another really great tactic to get people to purchase your products on pre-orders, especially if you are pre-launching products by buying small samples. You can go and offer people a discount in order to make them purchase it rather than purchasing it at full price once it is readily available. So in order to do this, we can go back to products. I am gonna turn off the notify me, and then we are gonna go into custom settings and we will see pre-order and we will see pre-order discounts. And then it's gonna say discount selector settings is not completed. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna click on this settings page. And then it's gonna bring us down to this area where it says discount selection. And we're gonna to have to choose our prices that we want to be discounted. So we're gonna click on select on this first one. And then you're gonna hold shift and you are just gonna select the price on your product page and then just hit save. So now that we have selected that price, we are gonna choose the same for our cart. So we are gonna click select. And again, we are going to hold shift and we're just going to select the price on our cart page and we'll hit save again. Now that we have selected both of those, we can hit save. Now, if you have a pop-up cart, you can go and choose this and you can go and do the same thing for your pop-up cart. However, I don't have a pop-up cart, so now I'm just gonna hit save. And now that we have saved that, we can go back to products. And firstly, let's just go and view this product. So we can see that this product is $99.99. However, we can go and add a pre-order discount. So what we can do is we can come into the custom settings and then we will see pre-order discounts. We can go and turn this on. And then what we can do is we can go and let's say make this 15%. So if somebody pre-orders the product, they will receive 15% off. Then we can say pre-order is active and then we can click on apply. So now that we have applied that discount, if we go and open up the product page and we can see that the original price was $99.99, with that 15% off, the product is now $84.99. Again, like I said, a really another great tactic that you can use to pre-sell your products. So now if somebody does want to pre-order the product, they can just click on pre-order and then they will be brought over to the cart. Now, if they're trying to purchase two different products and one product is in stock and one is a pre-ordered product, they will be prompted with this message. You are trying to purchase more products 
products and available in stock, zero items will be purchased and the rest will be pre-ordered. Now the reason it's saying zero items is because all of my products are currently on pre-order. However, if you've got two different products, one's on pre-order and one is in stock, it will say one item will be purchased and the rest will be pre-ordered. Now you can turn this message off if you want to. So what you can do is you can come into the settings and then from here you will see the pop-up messages. You can turn any of these pop-up messages on and off and you can change any of the text as well. So you can go and turn this off for example and then you can just hit save. Now when people are in their cart they will also be able to see that it says pre-ordered so that they know they are pre-ordering the items and that will stop any confusion from people asking where their orders are because they have pre-ordered the items. And one last thing I do want to show you, you can go and suggest ideas for this app. So if you want to suggest some new ideas, you can always come into suggest idea. And then from here, you can go and suggest an idea to the developers that you think would help in terms of pre-orders. Now I do also want to show you how you can fulfill pre-ordered products. So when a customer checks out with a pre-ordered product, again in the checkout it will say pre-ordered items. And then when you go over to your Shopify orders, you will see the pre-order tag under those pre-ordered products. And then when you are ready to fulfill the item, so once the item has become back in stock, or if you are testing the product and you have gone and ordered a bulk batch of the products and then you are sending them out, you can simply click onto the product and click on fulfill item and then you can go and enter in the tracking details and click on fulfill item just as you would with any other type of product. But as I mentioned, it's really helpful that you get that pre-order tag so you know which products are pre-ordered and which products are currently in stock and you need to fulfill right away. So that is how you can utilize and set up pre-orders for your Shopify stores. I will leave a link in the description to the pre-order manager app so you can check it out for yourself. And if you have any problems, then let me know down in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.